Welcome back to Julie's Reef Boutique. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a bow. Yes, two different styles of bows, five minutes is all it takes and you can make a beautiful bow. You don't need to be intimidated. It just takes a little bit of practice and you can make one like this too. So let's get started. So does making a bow intimidate you? Do you think that, oh, I could never make it? Let me tell you, you can make a bow and I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple bow and I show you different versions in a lot of my wreaths. So go check the playlist that I'm gonna leave below that will have some bow making in them. But I'm gonna make this bow for a friend of mine who um, bought a greenery wreath at the store for like 20 bucks and just needs something more. So I told her I would make her a bow. So I'm gonna just take a two and a half inch wired ribbon. Wired ribbon is really more preferred when you're making a bow because it just gives structure to your, your bow. Um, this is ribbon I purchased online. I would recommend um, Trendy Tree and the ReShop. They sell amazing ribbon and it is just so much better and easier to work with. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take and we're gonna make a loop, okay? So wh whatever size loop you wanna make, you're just gonna make a loop, okay? So I'm gonna make the loop right there, right? So as you can see on the back of my ribbon, I'm gonna to have to twist this because I of course want that to show. So I'm just gonna gather this with my hands and I am just going to twist it, all right? So that when <clears throat> I do my next loop, the um, right side of the ribbon is gonna show. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna help you do this by measuring it. So if you've got a ruler or if you have a mat like I have right here, it just helps to measure it. So what I wanna do is I wanna make an eight inch loop. So I just measure eight inches and I'm gonna come back, okay? So all I did was measure and I came back and I'm gonna just come in the middle, okay? Then I'm gonna twist it so that that good side of my ribbon is showing again, all right? Again, I'm gonna use my mat and I'm gonna measure eight inches so that they're on the same size. I'm gonna come back, all right? See how I have that, all right? And now I'm just gonna twist it. All right, so let's do another eight inch. Gonna just take it and grab it and come like this. And now I'm gonna kind of make it go to the side, all right? So now I'm gonna twist it again, make sure that ribbon is showing the right way. So wherever my thumb is, and that's where I'm going to measure eight inches, all right? All right. I'm back there and I'm just gonna twist it. All right, so now I'm gonna do, I think I wanna do a third loop, the same size, and then we'll do a third loop on the other side. Okay, and these don't have to be perfect, but we're just gonna keep coming back to the center and we're just gonna keep twisting it. All right. The bow kinda gotta. All right. So I've got all my loops right there. So I've got three and three, all right? So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do like a 10 inch. Okay, I got enough ribbon here. Oops, I need to twist it. Okay, and so I'm measuring 10 inches and then I'm making a loop, all right? And it does take a little bit, oh, that one just kinda this is where the bow maker helps. It just holds it for you. But when you don't have a bow maker, you can still make a bow. So again, we're gonna twist it and make a loop of 10 inches. All right. So I think that's good. So I'm gonna take my wire. Where did my wire go? It's like the same color of my mat. So it's hard. So we're just gonna go down in the middle there and we're gonna bring it back and we'll go back through here and we will straighten everything out. All right, so you're just gonna take your wire and you're gonna pull really good one way and then I'm just gonna twist and keep pulling it, all right? So I'm gonna need a tail for this ribbon. All right, so let's find a tail. Let's see how big of the tail we want. I want at least, oh, I wanna say 12 inches. 
So that's 12 inches. So I'm going to grab it and I want to do another 12 inches. All right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it up here and I'm going to catch it where that wire is. All right. And I'm going to cut this. That, I mean, if you want three tails, you can do three tails, but we don't need it. All right. So we're going to bring it, and then we're just going to cut this. So now let's fluff up our bow. All right. So I'm probably going to make her a couple of bows just to give her some options. You're just gonna play with it. And then at the end, you're gonna have a really cute bow that wasn't hard to make. If you can hold it with your thumb and your finger, you can make a bow. All right, so let's just, I think that's really cute. So less than, I don't know, five minutes, you can make a really cute bow. So you've got that middle loop, you've got, I put three loops and then one loop of the 10 inch on both sides. I'm gonna just go like this, give it a little bit of a angle. Oh, come on. And I think that's cute. I think it's easy. I just think it's doable. Now, the cheaper ribbon you have, the harder this is gonna be, okay? I'm just gonna tell you that. So the quality, more quality ribbon you have, the easier this will be for you. So, all right, so let's come back. I'll get some more ribbon and let's make a second bow. Okay, so for the second bow option, we're gonna use two different um, kinds of ribbon here. I have a little bit of each, so we're gonna make this work. Um, I'm gonna use this, it's again, two and a half inches seems to be like the ideal size for bows. So what I'm gonna do is this time we're gonna have a tail, okay? So we're gonna make sure that tail is about 10 to 12 inches long so that we just, we have enough to work with because you can always take ribbon away. It's hard to add ribbon to the tails when you've done it, okay? So I'm just gonna take and I'm going to gather it right there. I have a 10 inch or a 12 inch tail there. And we are gonna make, I want the bow length to be about six inches. So that means I need 12 inches in length here. So let's see, are we gonna be able to make this? We might be able to make this, let's see. Um, so let's see, we're gonna make one and we're gonna meet in the middle, okay? And again, this is the same on both sides, so I don't have to worry about twisting it or anything, but I just wanna keep it pretty consistent, all right? So there's one, so we've got one loop on each side, all right? So I think that's pretty good. So we're gonna do again, another 12 inch, see how far we can get here. And I'm just bringing it back and I'm holding it with my thumb and forefinger. Again, we're gonna do another 12 inch and we're gonna meet back here. All right, let's see. We got, we probably have enough to make, I'd like to make three. So let's see if we can make three. Another 12 inch, because I'm keeping all of these the same. And so we just did the same thing every time, okay? That gives us three loops, all right? We've got enough. So I'm gonna just kind of cut what I think is like 12 inches here, but it's probably a little bit longer. So we're gonna cut this and gather it. Oh, there we go, we'll fix it in a minute. So I'm just gonna gather it here, all right? And I believe I did this in, oh, one of my videos where I did a mesh and ribbon wreath. And I'm just gonna take a clip, a chip clip, and I'm gonna lay that to the side, okay? So I'm gonna put this to the side, and now we're gonna work on the center part of this bow. And my friend really liked the striped, and I just found this ribbon, and so this way she'll, she'll have a couple of options. And so I'm gonna, again, make sure that I have about a 10 to 12 inch, um, oh, 10 to 12 inch, yep, that's right, length there tail, <clears throat> but now we're going to do this in a smaller um, loop because I want it to be smaller than this, all right? So we're going to do eight inches, which makes like a four inch loop. So I'm going to measure out to eight inches. 
All right, we're gonna meet it in the middle like that. See, got the tail. So now that I've got that bottom and I gotta twist it. So remember, we gotta just twist it. So now we have the right side. I'm going to measure, this is where I measure from right here. And I need another eight inch piece, which makes a four inch loop. Okay, again, we're gonna twist it. All right. Make sure that's that ribbon off or that stuff off. <laughs> then just another eight inch. We're gonna keep it the same. I want all these loops to stay pretty much the same, okay? You might have to just, when you look at it, you might need to come down just a tad. So I'm gonna make sure that's twisted there. And again, I'm measuring another loop. Okay, come on. So I think, let's see, I think the four is going to be enough. Okay, so I think the four petals here, the two on each side is going to be enough. So I'm just going to cut my length here. Again, you can always make it shorter. You can't make it longer. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this over top of this one. Another thing you can do, hold on, let me see here. I'm going to just take a little zip tie. All right, just take a little zip tie. That's all I'm gonna do. You don't have to leave the zip tie here, but it's gonna it's gonna keep it in place. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out and we're gonna take another little zip tie and we're just gonna take this and go like this just so that it's just a little bit easier to deal with. Again, you can clip this zip tie off. You don't have to keep it on. All right. All right, let's see here just work with my petals and then I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to put it in the middle there all right that's it see how much longer these are I could have cut these so much shorter okay I'm going to take my piece of wire you could even do a pipe cleaner if you want but I'm just going to use my wire here and I'm just gonna connect these two this way. And you could even use a zip tie to do this. You really don't have to do a pipe cleaner or a wire, Julie. Wire, you're holding wire. Um, but I'm gonna do it because we need this to put through the wreath, okay? So I'm just gonna do that a couple times. I'm gonna go back through here and I'm just gonna clip. It really doesn't matter if I leave the zip tie on because I'm going to cover the middle of this part now. All right, so you're just gonna play with it. You're gonna get your bows the way you want them to look. I think this ribbon is from Hobby Lobby and this I believe I got at Walmart at Christmas time. Walmart has really upped its game at Christmas and so I was really impressed this last Christmas. So hopefully they will Keep it, keep up the good job there, so we'll see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this ribbon. I'm gonna just cut off probably six or seven inches. I don't need this much. And I like to just kind of fold it over, all right? Make a nice little crease there. And then we're just gonna go in the middle, all right? Like that, I think that's so cute. So how are we gonna do this in the back? Okay, so you can do this. I have it like this. Okay, here's one wire. Here's the other wire, okay? Now I'm gonna just like really twist that really good. Now you can cut these off. You could just do this, which I think I'm gonna just do this because they're not gonna show. And then you're just gonna play with your bow and you're gonna fluff it up. And in the next picture, I will show you how it looks with the wreath. But I think my friend will like either one of these bows. I hope you like it. I would just take um, your ribbon at the bottom here and we're gonna dovetail these, I think. You just folded it over. Gonna layer them again. 
just fold them oops need some strong scissors okay so i hope you enjoyed this video um the next pictures i'll show you with the with these in with the wreaths and how we style them so much for watching this video if you haven't done so make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will always know when i upload a video so if you made it this far remember to leave me a bow in the comments or just let me know if you enjoy the video and let me know what do you want to see next what do you want to learn what can i help you with with your creative journey Make sure to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. And if you love crafting, you will love my DIY wreath creators and more group. Make sure you join there. The link is all in the description below. So have a fabulous day. Until next time at Julie's Wreath Boutique.